Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Wizardry 6. Last time we finally made our way into what I believe was called the Captain's Den and uh, we killed the, everybody here <laughs> instead of challenging them to a drinking contest like proper uh, cutthroat gentlemen. But uh, what's done is done. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Inside the gate stairs, the preserved corpse of the hook-handed pirate. It looks even more macabre up close. So I think uh, this is the captain, and if you recall a long time ago, Lamont gave us the key to free the captain, so to speak. And there we go. What have we got? Apparently the gate was locked with good reason. When you touch the body, it disintegrates into a pile of ash and bone, leaving not but a coat of a tricorn, a stuffed parrot, an eye patch, and of course, the sinister steel hook. And steel hook, doublet, eye patch, and uh, some XP. Okay. Well, um, steel hook. Uh, let's give that to you, I guess. Uh, doublet is not really something we care too much about. Oh shit, our inventory is full. Uh, that's fine. We'll give that to you. Give the eye patch to Fenpo. Give the tricorn to Fenpo. Give the parrot to Fenpo. Now then, uh. Let us, uh, we'll, we'll check that stuff out in a minute, uh, for now. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. Oh, okay, some treasure. I'm interested. We could actually cast, uh, Detect Secrets in here, but I'm not even sure it's going to be necessary. Uh, it's going to exit, actually. All right, let's, um, let's see what we got here. Inspect. Few more people have uh, like a point of skullduggery now, or at least one or one more, I think. Um, so that may or may not help us. Um, doesn't seem to be doing shit for us right now, that's for sure. We got a T. We're gonna fucking disarm this thing with a T. Uh, well, actually, that helps out tremendously. <laughs> it's phantasmal hand. I don't even know what that spell does. We could not disarm it. Try again. We could not disarm it. Try again. You don't, you don't seem to understand. I, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> All right. A breastplate. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Well, moderate stamina. I don't know. We'll give the... Let's just give this shit the nerve. We're going to have to do so much. Oh, and a skull dagger. That's interesting. We're going to have to do a lot of identifying, I, I uh, suspect. And a lot of inventory management, which I'm not looking forward to. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. <clears throat> no. Just a closet, I guess. In here, more of the same. Okay. And finally, more of the same, it would seem. Alright, fair enough. Captain's Den has been searched and looted. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Look at some of the shit we got. First things first, we need to we need to help Alima out here. She's in a lot of trouble, inventory wise. Straight with Gertrude, um, we'll give her the fairy dust, 100% of the fairy dust. I'm not even sure what this does, <clears throat> but uh, let's uh, let's see here. Remove stuff I'm interested in getting identified. Uh, like I'm not worried about. Any of that stuff. We can probably sell some of that stuff. Uh, one would think. Um, hmm. But we'll trade uh, this tricorn hat to Gertrude as well. Uh, and then let's review Nurb. I know he's got some stuff. Swag, add. Let's put those in there. And let's put that in there. And then let us remove this thing for sure. Also, uh, also this thing, I think. We'll trade, uh, trade this stuff to Gertrude. Uh, the Amulet of Night, I think we identified, we pretty sure we identified that earlier. Um, I don't remember what it does. <laughs> I think it casts something. Um, well, we can, uh, we can send it, send it over to her. And, uh, ID it again. Alright, uh, she's probably got enough stuff to check out for the moment. She didn't have that many MP anyway. 
Let's uh, let's see what we got. Let's start with the like some assay action here. Tricorn hat AC minus two. Um, usable by not very many people. Uh, much to my surprise here. Um, what about whoops? No, what about the uh, the breastplate? AC minus eight. Valkyries and lords. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, and then the Skull Dagger. Thrust or throw. Um, pretty much anybody can use it. We need to get a little, little bit more data on you old Skull Dagger, I feel like. So let's try and identify on that. Ah, plus one to hit and critical. I don't know how much. It doesn't say. But uh, that's interesting to me. It's definitely better than a regular dagger, at any rate. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's see here. Big sneeze, excuse me. I'll try to edit that out. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, da -da -da. I need to, need to do, 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 trade Lilima. I'd like to give her this skull dagger. Now then, view Lima. I'm going to uh, equip her with the Cutlass, the Skull Dagger, and so on. Alright, we'll probably just drop that other dagger, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. And then I'm also going to trade, or no, no I'm not going to trade, i got to go back to review Gertrude. I'm going to trade the Breastplate to Nurb, because um, he's got a little bit lower uh, AC. Tricorn hat, I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do with that just yet. Uh, so let me, let me think about that. Nurb. Yeah, because uh, Alima has the chainmail right now. So we might as well go ahead and upgrade uh, Nurb a little bit here. All right. <clears throat> and uh, let's see here. Now let's take a look at who, who could use the tricorn. Like maybe Elise could use the tricorn. Let's take a look at a feathered hat. AC minus two. So it's it's really just a matter of taste, I guess. Um, feathered hat's usable by a few more people. Uh, so let's yeah, we'll we'll keep a tricorn hat. Let's uh, let's give uh, at least a tricorn hat. Why not? Just for style points, like so. And quota staff. Oh, she can't use it? Oh, no, she's a ranger. I guess we'll have to give it to Ulu. My mistake. Uh, yeah, rangers can't use a bard scan. I was stuck in the past of a couple episodes ago. Uh, no, no. Trade with Ulu. And uh, there we go. And now you... Oh, uh, shit. You don't have enough uh, inventory space. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's uh, try that again because you're naked. Uh, swag, add. Let's put that in there. Remove the tricorn hat. And equip the quarterstaff, the tricorn hat, and all this other crap. Alright, Gertrude. Uh, I gave her something else, did I not? Remove the, uh, the amulet of night. Let's, uh, let's see what this does for sure. Uh, blinding flash, 11 charges, okay. So that's what that does. Uh, and then Fempo got some stuff as well. Um, I think we're going to have to go to Swag, add... I'm going to have to sort out my inventory off screen, I think. This is taking quite a while as it is. Uh, we have an extra Tricorn hat, but we also have... Uh, the green parrot and an eye patch. So let's... Uh, let's add a couple more things here, like... Uh, I can add those. And uh, we can add that. Let's get the eye patch out and uh, trade those to Gertrude real quick. So we give her that and we give her uh, the eye patch. All right. Almost done. Spell. Identify. Oh, we're going to have to like wait one second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's identify the green parrot. It's cursed. 
Uh, 5% magic resist, and it has a special power. We don't know what it is. So maybe we have to actually increase the, uh, the power of the identify spell to see what that stuff is. That's interesting to me. Uh, we can also say it. Just to see. No AC bonus on that. Uh, and uh, the eye patch. AC 4. Not minus 4, just 4. <laughs> so that's actually not good. So here's a trick. I apologize if this makes you sick. <laughs> you can do that to uh, pass time quickly. And uh, you can see she has one magic point back. Uh, and I say pass time quickly in a very relative sense here. Um, but yeah, let's come back to Gertrude and uh, have her do one more ID on the eye patch real quick. This is also cursed, is it? Or are we just not sure if it's cursed? Seems like it is. Um, let's uh, let's rest since we uh, wore out our buffs anyway. Oh, come on, guys. Well, we need to get some combat in anyway. That's fine. Uh, oh no, that's right. Ooh, who's the bard now? Uh, I guess we just fight. <clears throat> but my thought is, uh, we could try casting a higher powered identify. But uh, either way, we're gonna move on. I think, uh, and I'm gonna go clean out my inventory off screen, basically. Uh, before we do that, but, uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll worry about that in a second here. So we got a couple of rogue leaders. That's unfortunate, but I'm going to finish off these scallywags first because they're casting spells and shit at me, which is very annoying. All right. I think, was that all of them? Did we get, did we, oh no, there's one left. God damn it. I wish, uh, I wish people would wake up. That would be really ideal. I'm not sure if we have a spell that would allow us to wake up our party members or not, honestly. That's one way to do it. If you hit in the face with a dagger while you're fucking sleeping, that'll wake you up or put you to sleep permanently. One of the two. I'm not even bothering with, uh, the loot right now just because I want to see if, if we can, you know, reasonably hit these uh, old ass enemies without it. And it seems like 50 50. <laughs> We're doing okay, but it could be better. I was about to say, these guys have a lot more hit points than I remember. Alright. Knock knock scroll. I'll take it, I suppose. Uh, I'll give it to her, I guess, for now. Um, now then, finish resting, please. Uh, how much, uh, oh man, you got like nothing. You got like nothing out of that. How's that even possible? We're gonna spend like a fucking full day resting just to, uh, just, does he have ID? Oh, he does have ID. What am I even doing? Uh, review, Gertrude. Trade with Fenpo, please. Uh, eye patch. Green parrot. Spell. Identify level two on the green parrot. Doesn't seem to say. What if we? Let's just fucking. Fuck okay, it. Let's just go all out. Identify. Forty-eight MP on the green parrot. Makes no difference. All right. So we don't know what it is, but it's got a special power. It's also cursed. Uh, same deal with the eye patch, I'm sure. So uh, that mystery has been sorted. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here, uh, and then I will meet you back at the uh, right here, I guess, um, or Queequeg, one one way or the other. Um, and then we're going to go back to the hazard zone, I guess, and try to use this rope that we have. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. I've uh, sold a ton of stuff, uh, including some sort of, I guess, unique items. Um, I got rid of, got rid of the eye patch, the other tricorn hat. I got rid of like the bra and the the whip that we got a long time ago, because we're not going to be using them. Uh, and I got rid of uh, just a bunch of other crap, basically. So uh, we're in pretty good shape, I think, inventory wise. I am going to take this opportunity to rest here again. Probably should have actually spent some. MP though. Uh, let's have Alima. She can cure herself now. Uh, let's just do like a big one like that. No, that wasn't even very good. And Nerb can kind of actually do the same. 
All right, that's good enough for the moment. Let's um, let's go ahead and move on back to the hazard zone here. If I can, uh, I can't go this way, can I? Now I have to actually go uh, around this way, I believe. And we need to find that pit again. I'm not really sure where it is <laughs> exactly, but. Uh, We'll uh, find out soon enough. I think I know it's to the west, so I think if I just keep going this way, we'll find it. In fact, I think I did just find it. I think it's right here. Yes. So, standing uh, at the chasm, we've already read. Oh, come on. <laughs> These rats are, are floating on thin air. That's not even fair, man. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Do the thing. Uh, we'll put the... Uh, I don't even think it matters which ones we put to sleep, uh, if I'm being honest here. But there we go. Ow. Ow. I'm thinking, we probably wanna wanna buff up on the way through here. And probably rest <laughs> before we go across. Skull Dagger's actually doing some work, I'm not disappointed. We haven't gotten a, uh, a crit out of it yet. But we wouldn't know anyway, Alima can crit on her own. So it's probably like a, a bonus to crit. Which is something I'm definitely not going to complain about, because being able to instantly kill an enemy uh, is pretty okay with me. Gotta be honest. <laughs> Enemies are tough enough uh, on expert mode as it is. Alright. So we go ahead and finish off these rats. And then, uh, use a rope, I guess. Oh, there's a crit. Very nice. There we go. I think that skull dagger might be like the first... Uh, second, I guess second magic item we found in the first one was the dagger of ram, I suppose. Alright. Uh, actually, one thing we can do, now that I think about it, let's save, uh... What if we used this green parrot on someone? No effect. Uh, oh yeah, no, because to invoke things you have to equip. So let's just try this as a uh, it's a little test here. We're gonna we're not gonna keep it most likely, depending on what it does. But uh, uh, equip green parrot, skull cap, blah blah blah. Yes. I think he just got a point of karma? Or was it personality? One of those two. I wasn't paying attention. We'll find out in a sec. 15 and 12. Disc, quick game, no save. Resume save game. Review, Fenpo. He got a point of personality. Okay, so we can use that parrot to get a useless stat. Uh, excepting in the case where we have to class change later, we might be able to use this. I might be able to use this to just make life a little bit easier. Uh, for myself. Alright, good enough. So let's go ahead and use our, uh, our rope here. I don't, or no, who, who has the rope? I think Alima has it? Nope, I'm an idiot. I don't, I don't know who the fuck has it. <laughs> Ulu, do you have it? You do not have it. Nerve, do you have it? Who has the damn rope? Please tell me. Ah. The chasm is too deep for the rope to reach the bottom, and without any way to make it catch under the other side, it always falls back into the gorge. Ah. I believe I have a solution <laughs> for this. Who has the rest of our pirate loot? Swag? No. Do we give it to Fenpo? Swag? Uh... No, he doesn't have it. Ulu, do you have it? You do have it. We are going to... No, I should have sold that hat. We're going to need the steel hook, aren't we? <laughs> I think we're making a makeshift grappling hook here. Let us trade with Fenpo. Give him said steel hook. And then uh, let's see if we can make ourselves a thing. Probably have to bring this out of retirement. And then we probably use steel hook, uh, or maybe we use heavy rope. 
Or maybe we... Ah, merge. Merge, I'm sure that's what it is. Merge the steel hook with the rope. We have a rope and hook now. Excellent. All right. Use rope and hook. Heaving the hooked rope over the edge of the chasm, you succeed in snagging it on a, onto a sizable boulder. Hanging on for dear life, you uh, make it across the thing. So uh, I guess we just have to keep this rope forever now. <laughs> it's a fucking heavy ass grappling hook that we have. Very well. Uh, I wish I would have rested before I came over here, but that's fine. We'll take care of that now. Uh, who, who do I want to do with some healing here? Probably you. There we go. And uh, maybe not you. I'm actually pretty low. I guess Fempo is going to have to step in here, most likely, before we're done. Uh, yeah, maybe not. There we go. All right. Let's rest. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Oh, shit. Well, jungle vines. Not very many of them, though. That's nice. Should have had Ulu definitely try to put them to sleep, though. If they could wake somebody up who can actually do some damage, that would be lovely. Thank you. I guess Fembo, he can, he can do some damage. He's alright. He's alright. Ow. Ow. Come on. Come on. Hate these laggy ass vines. Putting him to sleep doesn't even seem to help either, which is unfortunate. Which we did, actually. I'm a little surprised that worked as well as it did. Alright. Critical, nice. If we could please finish off the rest of them in short order, that would be lovely. I'm not even going to bother to put them to sleep. I don't think it would be necessary. There we go. There we go. All right. You can die in a fire. You said smart security. Fuck off. Now then, continuing. Uh, let's buff, I think, at this point. And eh, let's rest again, actually. We're pretty low on MP. It makes me really uncomfortable. Still not very good. Uh, one more time. Alright, that's as good as we're gonna get, I think. I might even be... No, she is in the 30s. I know that she does, but... Uh, alright. Uh, not review. Spell... Fenpo, let's do Enchanted Blade to the max. And Gertrude will do Armor Plate to the max, which is pretty good now. Let's continue. And actually, even, uh... Eh, I was gonna say, somebody has Wizard's Eye, or not Wizard's Eye, what is it? Uh, um... Detect Secrets? Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be necessary or not. Usually you can see them, so... Not sweating that too terribly much at the moment. Taking a look around here. You hear some kind of strange sucking noise from somewhere nearby. It's a slurpy kind of sound. Okay. Something weird lies just ahead. It's just sitting there. It's to be the source of the odd sucking noises, cautiously approaching the oddity. Uh-oh. Uh oh Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that's not good. Uh, I believe we have possibly found ourselves a boss. Uh, I think we might die trying to fight these guys. We're gonna tr we're gonna do our best. Let's see, what do you, what do you got? I think we just have you fight. Uh, if uh, ever there was a time for a fireball, this would probably be it. Big ass fireball on these hydro plants, unless it backfires, and we just kill ourselves that much faster, which would be funny. Let's get a huge bless. And what do you got? Blinding flash. Um, I'm interested. Maybe on this crew? Actually, no. Let's see if you can put him to sleep. We don't know for sure what we've got here, so we'll give that a try. I'm gonna cast conjuration level two with you. And, uh, 
Oh, you guys, you also have blinding flash. That could work for us. We also have sleep. Acid splash. I'm gonna give, have you do armor shield actually on Lima. Start fighting. What do we got? Hydro plant. Ah, oh, shit. That's definitely not what I wanted to have happen. Ow. Ow. I was the one who's supposed to be putting them to sleep. Ow. Oh, well, she woke Ow. back up. Ow. This is not going well. It's also so fucking laggy. 42 damage, 30 damage, and unaffected. We just got a zombie of some kind in our, uh, in our group. That's something, I guess. Well, we can hit them. Oh, and we killed one, even. Ow. Unfortunately, people are definitely going to die. This is so laggy, though. One zombie is what we got. Really? That's the best you could, you could come up with? Oh, all right. Well, you can fight that, I guess. You should probably do your damnedest to heal yourself. Um, Gertrude... It's kind of out of shit here. Cure, no, we're not poisoned. She has fireball as well, though. Um, but I want to do, I think we're going to do haste. And I'm going to try to have you do, uh, hmm. Maybe we have you do blinding flash on this group. Ah. Yeah, she died. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, there we go. If we can nauseate these, that would actually help immensely, but, uh... Ow. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's possible. No. No. Alright. So I think I might, uh... Might, uh... Let's just... Um... Call it an episode here, I think, because I don't think we're going to win this fight. Um, but uh, when we come back, we'll try this again. Maybe I'll disable the sound for this so it doesn't take 100 years uh, just to uh, kind of get this going uh, a little bit more quickly. But uh, yeah, it seems we found ourselves something nasty uh, for sure. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.